I am beautiful. I am worthy. I am fertile. My fertility goddess. Hello, my beautiful fertility goddesses and my fertility gods. Welcome to your October 2023 fertility reading. In this reading, we're going to be asking spirit, will you be conceiving this month or will you be getting a positive pregnancy test? Or what is the likelihood of that happening? Um, and we're also going to be getting or gathering more information, more insight to help you along your, baby to, your journey to baby this month. If you are new here, welcome to the Fertility Goddess family. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. We would love to have you be a part of our family. And if you're returning, welcome back, Goddess. Welcome back, Fertility God. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Make sure you're subscribed as well, okay? All the timestamps are down below in the comment section as well as in the description box. And if you have not checked out our community tab, make sure you do so as there are some really fun things that are happening this month for us, okay? For us and the babies. I guess it's me, the babies, and all of us together. So <laughs> there's a lot going on. I feel like it's like, um, what is that? Like a festival. That's really what it feels like. Like lots of fun and festive vibes. So check out the community tab. But before you do, let's dive into your reading. So pile number one, we have this beautiful purple amethyst here. It's gorgeous. This is what the back of the crystal looks like. And this is what the front of it looks like. Beautiful. For pile number two, we have these twins. Okay. <laughs> these two carnelian crystals here. I felt the need to put two carnelian crystals, especially because they look like twins. I don't know. I just, and this was a number two, two for two. I just, I felt that energy there. Okay. So that's pile number two. And then pile number three, we have this white howlite crystal. Okay. So whichever crystal you are feeling most drawn to, or maybe you're drawn to the number, all of the piles are listed down below in the description box and in the comment section. So select your pile and I'll see you there. Hello, my beautiful fertility goddesses and my fertility gods who chose pile number one. This is indeed your reading for October 2023. This is your fertility reading. So I have your purple crystal here, your amethyst crystal. You may want to work with this energy over this month or throughout this month. Um, or maybe even look into the properties of amethyst, the healing properties of amethyst. I will be getting a crystal card for your pile in a second. So we may even have amethyst come through. But if not, I would still look into the healing properties of amethyst. I know that it does bring like calm down um calm the mind so that can and bring in re relaxation so that could be something that uh, may be beneficial for you this month now the card that we have here we're going to flip it over in a second but it, it represents the overall energy of your fertility journey in the month of october okay so let's see what we have here so the hermit okay so if you chose this pile you could be an earth sign okay you could have sun moon rising um either virgo capricorn or taurus or this could be your partner's sign or your baby could have a strong um strong earth in their birth chart okay you may feel um this very grounded energy around you when they're connecting with you that is kind of a way if you um for you to tell what maybe not what their sign may be but more so of like what their characteristic like the personality of this little one may be okay um but i see a lot of grounding energy so first of all what i'm picking up here is that for pile number one during the month of october there's a lot of research that's going to be done a lot of learning about yourself a lot of learning about your journey um learning even setting certain intentions figuring out what it is that works best for you now you and your partner may even have like some sort of conversation this month that kind of helps you um that either may redirect your focus to think about this or it may even um like like i feel like it's gonna fuel this okay like it's gonna fuel this curiosity is what it feels like here um which is gonna make you dive deeper into yourself now you may even go and get like certain tests like tests done you may re be getting results from certain tests that you've had done in the recent past um but there's just something here that that's happening that's regarding or revolving around you learning more about yourself and about your journey to baby now this could be i it, i strongly feel like it is something that involves um the actual conception process um like when are you most fertile or um you may just be like really um studying like when is the best time for me to baby dance right based on your past um ovulation test or your past 
um, tracking, if you've been tracking your cycle. Um, this month, you may be diving deeper into that energy, right? Tracking your cycle even more. Um, if you are a fertility god, I feel like maybe you are doing more research this month about what you can do to enhance your fertility so that it's not just on your partner. Maybe you feel like it's, it's you need to learn more about you, right? I really do feel like this is um, either you guys as a couple are individually, really strongly feeling individually though with the hermit energy. The hermit usually goes on a solo journey to learn more about themselves and they allow their inner light to guide them. And so I feel like that's something that you're going to be embodying this month or this is something that spirit is um, encouraging you to embody okay sometimes I'm hearing um, that a lot of times when we are feeling very airy we need to ground ourselves so we're feeling like we can't we're kind of up in the air we're kind of like trying to figure things out we're in our head a lot maybe it's time to ground ourselves a bit right and how do we do that we ground ourselves very coming back down to earth, right, and starting at the root. So I'm hearing something about starting at the root, and that's very important for your fertility journey this month. Um, this could be either, this could even be healing your body, okay? So um, I know I was talking about doing research and learning more about your body, but maybe you're taking the results and or you're taking the um, the feeling that you've had about your the, this inner guidance, right, that you've received, and you're using this to help you um, when it comes to how you should heal your body. Um, this could be going to a doctor's appointment. This could be um, taking certain herbs. This may be taking certain supplements, working out, eating your, you know, changing your diet, um, cutting out certain um, endocrine disruptors, right? Um, testing your, your glands, right? Um, getting those tests done, you're testing your hormones, different things like that. But I feel like there could be some things that you may make changes to your foundation, foundation wise. And really, it's like, I'm, I'm feel like I'm soul searching here, okay? I feel like I'm soul searching in this pile. So this is a deep month for you guys, okay? Um, now, let me see what else you can expect this month in your fertility journey. Oops, sorry, I think I just hit the camera a bit. Um, but let's see what else, pile number one, what else can they expect this month in front of month of October 2023? What can they expect in their fertility journey this month? Being spontaneous, okay? So you may feel an urge to be a little spontaneous this month as well. I feel like with this grounded energy with the hermit here, I feel like by you grounding yourself, this could even be through meditation, okay? Um, I feel like by you grounding yourself, reconnecting with self, you're going to feel a lot more... Um, lighter if that makes sense you're gonna feel a lot lighter um and you're gonna feel a lot more what is the word i'm looking for spirit um not eager but you're gonna just feel like okay with making spontaneous moves right when we're in our head a lot when we're airy when we're up in our head we we tense up when we think about being spontaneous right we tense up because we're like what if it's not the right move what if i do this and there's all these what ifs right what if i do this and i should have did this what if i do this and it messes this up right and so we're in our head we're airy we're all over the place we're trying to figure it out for ourselves so we don't really find ourselves being spontaneous we really overthink everything i feel like by you grounding yourself this month you're going to find that you are more free you're going to feel a lot more just like I said, okay, with being spontaneous this month. And that is indeed something that Spirit is encouraging you to do, okay? Um, we also have focusing on your mental and emotional health. So we had a little bit about the physical coming in, and now we have mental and emotional health, um, which I'm not surprised because I was saying, like, I felt like this pile, you guys may have been in your head a lot in the past, um, or even in the recent past, or maybe even this month, and it's almost like you're blocking out that energy now. With this Hermit card, he has, like, this blanket over his head, and it's like he's blocking out all of the, like, um, the wild energy that's surrounding his head, right? He put his own little bubble over him, and he's like, nope, I'm only gonna listen to what I have to say to myself, and that is it, and that I'm, that is final. Um, and so I feel like you're really going to be doing things for yourself this month, or you're being called to, that's going to help you heal emotionally, as well as mentally, and physically okay um when we feel like we're in a better place once again we feel more um i don't want to say motivated but it almost feels like a motivated energy we feel more motivated or we feel more 
um, inspired to take action towards the things that we desire, right? We don't feel down. We feel a little more confident. We feel a little more like, okay, well, maybe I can do this, right? Um, and so I feel like in this pile, there, that's that energy that's going to be surrounding you this month. Um, let's see what else Spirit wants you to know about this month, okay, in your fertility journey. What can pile number one expect or what is it that they you want them to know spirit about this month here happy family life okay so having a happy family life is very important for you this month um and this simply means like doing things for uh, th doing things that brings you joy so not basically because i want to have a baby i'm gonna baby dance i'm gonna baby dance because I want to make love to my partner, right? Like that type of stuff. Um, I'm also picking up like if you, I don't know why I keep hearing Disneyland. Maybe someone's going to Disneyland or going to an amusement park or a theme park, but there's like, you're going to be having fun, right? Maybe going to a festival, um, going to a harvest. Um, there's something here about enjoying family life, spending time with those that you love, spending time with those that you do have in your life and not dwelling on the fact that you know, um, you want your other little one to be here, right? But they're not here. You want your baby to be here, but they're not here yet. Um, so I feel like one of the things that is really going to um, prosper during this month is that you are going to get out of your head. Look at the bottom of the deck. We have moms, mental, and thoughts, okay? Thoughts and mental, mentality. So it's in reverse, which is showing me that you're getting out of your head, okay? You're not overthinking anymore. You're putting the sword down. You're going to focus on one thing and one thing only, one thing at a time. And that one thing that you're focusing on this month is you, okay? The one thing that you're focusing on is all about you. Um, let's see what else we have here. And I wanted to say too, like with you focusing on, you know, your mental health and your emotional health, that's going to help you feel more like happy, right? It's going to help you embrace the energy of joy um, and, be, and be spontaneous, right? <laughs> I love that. So let's see what else we have here. What else do you want them to know, Spirit? So we have take a pregnancy test. So for my goddesses who... Um, who have not taken a pregnancy test and could be pregnant, take a test, okay? Because I am recording this in Libra season and Libra season, it starts at the end of September and then we go into um, October, okay? So with Libra season, but September is also the, the card of Virgo. Virgo, or Virgo is the season that's in September, <laughs> okay? So some of you guys could have conceived in Virgo season, okay? And you'll be finding out that you're pregnant or you'll be taking a pregnancy test because your cycle is late. That may be a part of this month for you, the month, the part of um, October for you, okay? Um, but this can also be like with the, with the like sitting down energy, right? Pulling, pulling yourself back in, grounding yourself. This can also be a part of that, okay? This can be a part of you really tuning into your body um, and maybe baby sending you a signal. Maybe, you know, your spirit team is wanting you to pay more attention to your body um, because you're pregnant. Okay. So take a pregnancy test for those who feel like they can be pregnant. For those of you who just started a cycle or you know that you're not pregnant um, yet, okay, this can be a part of this upcoming cycle for you. Okay. There may be a pregnancy test involved. Um, a potential for pregnancy is what I'm seeing here. Um, that plays a part. This is also, I feel like, um, a message of like you uh, taking action, but also there's something here about you stocking up on tests, okay? So whether they're pregnancy or ovulation tests or maybe getting a test at the doctor's office, but there's something here about taking a test this month as well, okay? Um, let's see here. Let me get one more of these cards. What can we expect for pawn number one in the month of October, Spirit? What can we expect here? Thank you. We have two more that came out. So we have time to chart, okay? And we have timed intercourse. So divine timing is really important when it comes to conception this month. So for this current cycle or this upcoming cycle, okay, whatever, whatever or when it lands in October for you, um, it's important for you to really track your cycle, okay? Your upcoming, wow, look at that, fertile empress energy, prime time. So you are coming up on a very fertile period in your journey to baby, okay? October is going to be a very fertile month for you. Um, September could have been one as well um, for some of you guys as well, okay? So um, I do feel like you are being called to like pinpoint ovulation this month. Okay, we have timed intercourse, which is divine timing, and time to chart, plan, and confirmation. So um, I definitely feel here, this is like Spirit saying, um, it's really important for you to um, like zone in on when you're going to be ovulating this month, right? Tuning into your body. Once again, a message coming back to tuning into your body, 
tracking your cycle, taking certain tests. Um, and I feel like with this spontaneous energy, right, you're being called to live in this airy space, right? Live in this space of like freedom. And I don't want to use the word airy because I was saying like, you know, stay out of your head, which we do have that message still coming through. But in terms of the actions that you take, right, we don't want to be too, um, like rigid in our actions this month i'm hearing like be spontaneous okay which i know can be a lot easier said than done um but also you don't want to miss be so spontaneous that you miss your chance for conception because you don't know when you ovulate so for my goddesses who haven't been tracking their cycle in this, these previous months like this is your month to do so this is your month to get back on board track your cycle if you haven't in a while um or chart your temperature right time to chart this is like double confirmation so maybe you're going to even go to the doctor and get an ultrasound of your ovaries they may tell you that you know you've recently released an egg and it's time to baby dance time to intercourse can be that your doctor is facilitating or organizing this with like a trigger shot or something like that okay there may be some some sort of like you know like okay now type of thing right now like push the button <laughs> it's time to go type of thing um that you're being called to really pay attention to whether it's naturally from your body your body saying i'm in a high fertile time because my you know our cervical fluids are flowing um and they're like egg white right or we're having you know mid-cycle cramping um or you're like your libido is up there like there's going to be certain signs you may receive this month that your your body's telling you like it's time okay um and for some of my goddesses you may actually receive some from your doctor right especially if you are you know working with a doctor to conceive um this is like ivf iui um getting certain tests done right like those those things i feel like by you having close guidance in terms of this in terms of conception specifically um it is also going to help you um conceive okay so i do feel like there's a higher chance of conception in that way if you are being guided by a doctor this month too and you chose this pile okay but if you're not being guided by a doctor don't think like oh my chances are out because no okay <laughs> you still have high chances too but i really do see that there's a lot of guidance here close guidance um from external sources that are going to be very beneficial for those in this pile too okay um now let's see what we have what else we have coming through for you i'm going to pull from this little mini deck that i made earlier okay about what you can expect this month in your fertility journey and then i'm also going to get some hi mama messages um and end with an affirmation okay so let's see here what we have wow are you kidding me pinpoint ovulation so if you chose this pile that is definitely a message coming through very strongly for you to pinpoint ovulation okay so this this month you can also expect to experience a cooling off period a pause or a break okay so definitely i feel like you are well once again grounding yourself so i feel like this message is more so of i do see you're still being called to take action unless you're pregnant right then this is your cooling off period your trends what is it um not transferring um but you are transitioning into a new phase of your journey you're now in your pregnancy journey but for those of you guys who have not conceived as of yet i am seeing that you're grounding yourself right you're getting out of your head this month um some you may have been in your head and overworking yourself because you've been in your head or you may have been in your head and staying stagnant because you're like i've been doing this for so long what's the point right cycle after cycle disappointment um, and so you may have just been like, I'm not going to do much because what's the point, right? So I definitely feel like you're, you're pulling yourself away from that here. And look at that. You can expect to take action that will move you forward this month. So beautiful. I love that confirmation there for you. Let's get a few Hi Mama Spirit Baby messages. And then we're going to go ahead and um, before we get your affirmation, I'm going to ask her specifically, is there a high chance of conception for this month for you for pile number one? And then we'll go from there, okay? Sorry, my chair is so loud when I move. <laughs> it's such a squeaky chair. I need a new one. All right, let's see what we have here. Let's see. For pile number one, what is their message? Okay, from the babies. Babies, what is it that you want to tell your mamas at this time? What is your most important message at this time for the month of October? Ooh, we have two standing out. Oh yeah, we have two here, so three. So the first one says, hi mama, taking care of responsibility is really important. The second one says, mama, don't procrastinate testing. Are you kidding me? 
So, I mean, I feel like pile number one, your message is very, very, very clear. Okay, crystal clear here. Um, the amethyst definitely aligns with, you know, calming your mind um, and also trusting your intuition. But your baby's also saying like there are certain actions that needs to be taken in order for this pregnancy to occur, okay? Like charting, like testing your, um, testing for ovulation, right? Pinpointing your ovulation, getting to know your body. Those are some really important, um, having certain tests done, whether it's at home or at the doctors. Um, those are some really important things that are a part of your journey. And I feel like this month, you're really going to get down to the nitty gritty. You're really getting into it here this month. Um, and then we also have, hi mama, I am bringing your awareness to synchronicities that are key okay so um keep your eyes open this month your baby's going to be sending you different signs in different ways they're also going to be sending you synchronicity surrounding ovulation like we were talking about you may feel like strong cramping when you usually don't around the time of ovulation uh, you may have like like an overflow of fertile cervical fluids when you usually don't okay um my divine fertility gods as well Ooh, confirmation there um your babies may also be sending you signs of like help helping you really um pay attention to your partner around the time of their ovulation unknowingly okay whether they tell you or not you may just be really attracted to your partner um you may also feel like doing certain things to enhance your fertility listen to your intuition as well sorry if you can hear my neighbors outside they're excited about something but listen to your intuition as well okay because those are going to be um the signs that your baby or how your baby's going to send you these signs through your intuitive guidance and your inner guidance okay so um that's what i have for you guys with this part of the reading i'm not going to ask spirit let me get my where's my other deck here it is I'm going to ask Spirit what you, if you have a, a high chance of conceiving in the month of October. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like you do, but I also feel like there is this energy of like, this month is really, really a time of you getting to know yourself versus conceiving, but I'm not counting it out. Okay. So let's see what we have here. And I always say get, getting to know yourself, it's almost like you took, maybe you had a cooling off period and you're restarting this month, or uh, maybe you have an irregular ovulation or irregular cycle, and so now it's time for you to pinpoint that. Maybe something just recently shifted or changed in your journey, so you're getting to know this new new part of you, right? This new part of your journey. Um, but there's something here about understanding, right? Getting clarity around that first or that leading you to conception that clarity leading you to conception so let's see what we have here okay let's see what, and i feel like you've been putting something off this could be a doctor's appointment this could be testing for ovulation just assuming right being spontaneous assuming that this is when i ovulate so this is when we're going to baby dance or just maybe not even paying attention to it at all and then just being like why am i not pregnant so i feel like whatever you've been putting off you're starting to pick that back up and take responsibility for that okay um but for pile number one will they be conceiving this month spirit do they have a high chance of conception this month for october 2023 the town number one have a high chance of conception. What did I say earlier with the Hierophant here, okay? I said, if you're going to the doctor, right, then you have a high chance for conception. <laughs> if you're receiving some sort of guidance, there is a high possibility for you to conceive in the month of October. So here we are with that confirmation here um, as well. Um, there's definitely something here about you and we have the moon card, okay? Oh my gosh, and then we have the empress beneath that, wow. Okay, so, and then we have judgment. So I'm gonna take all four of these. So I feel like there's definitely a chance, okay? This is kind of like, um, it's almost like this for that, okay? For pile number one, um, this month, if you're in the middle of the cycle or going towards the end of the cycle, okay, um, and you think that you could be pregnant this cycle, take your test, okay? If you're not pregnant, get on it about tracking your cycle, pinpointing that bad boy down. Or, I'm sorry, not your cycle, but your ovulation, okay? Now, if you're at the beginning of a cycle at this time and you're watching this and you're in those first two weeks, track your cycle, okay? If you've been putting off a doctor's appointment, go to the doctor. Um, but there's something here about close guidance surrounding your inner moon cycle with the moon here, um, releasing any fears or anxiety you may have had surrounding your path, 
surrounding what's to come and really staying focused um what is it called regaining your focus regaining control right that's going to lead you to pregnancy we have the empress here so i do feel like some of my goddesses who are watching this pile will be finding out either conceiving in october and finding out you're pregnant in scorpio season with the judgment energy this is scorpio energy so this is the end of october going into november or you've conceived in virgo season and you're finding out you're pregnant in um october okay so i'm seeing virgo um what is it? Virgo, Libra, Scorpio. Okay, to be really significant for this pile, for your conception period, um, possibility of conception. Okay, but remember, taking care of responsibilities is so important surrounding your fertility journey. Okay, so getting 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 that information, basically. Okay, <laughs> all right. So let's see what we have here. We're gonna leave you with your affirmation. We may get one or two. Let's see what we have here. We have one that came out already. So this card says, I deserve for my healthcare providers to listen to me. I'm hearing take a chance on your doctors, take a chance on health professionals. Some of you guys may have had a negative experience in the past with a health professional and you're being called to give it another chance, give it another go, right? There's something new that's coming in. There's some new information, some new clarity um, that they're going to give to you. And on the bottom of the deck, we have my womb is healthy. So this is a beautiful affirmation for you to recite during the month of October. My womb is healthy and I deserve for my healthcare providers to listen to me. Okay, those are beautiful affirmations for you to recite. <laughs> and affirm for yourself. You can even put them down in the comment section if you like. So, pile number one, this is what I have for you. Thank you so much once again for being here. Make sure you subscribe, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'm sending you guys so much baby dust if you're hoping for it, of course, if you're looking to see if you're conceiving, if you've conceived or if you're hoping to conceive, I'm sending you baby dust. Um, if there's another message that you're looking for, check out some of my other videos. I have so many here on YouTube and um, I can't wait to hear beautiful news from you guys. Bye. Hello, my beautiful fertility goddesses and my fertility gods who chose pile number two for our beautiful October 2023 fertility reading. Now, as you can see, pile number two is such a special pile because we have two crystals. We have twins here on pile number two. I felt the need to add this twin aspect. Oh my gosh, look at this. We The card went this way and pulled another I think this is carnelian or it's sunstone. It's one of the two. This side kind of looks like sunstone to me, but then this side kind of looks like carnelian. So I don't know, but um, some of you guys may be having triplets in this pile. Okay, we went from two to three. So I also feel like for pile number two, there could be like a significance when it comes to growth happening this month for you, okay? You may be moving forward or experiencing growth in your fertility journey this month. So fingers crossed, okay, fingers crossed. I feel like that's really good news. It feels like positive growth, meaning we're, we're moving forward in, an, in a positive direction here in our journey, okay? And I'm gonna keep all three of them there lined up, okay? Um, three is also like representative of the growing family, right? The baby, the mama, and the papa, right? So the family unit. So we have here, three energies so there could definitely be a little a little soul coming your way this month but we're gonna dive into my card that we have picked out for you already from ba the baby tarot um and we are going to see this is the overall energy of your journey for the month of october okay so let's dive in here and see what we have the king of wands so i'm picking up high fertile energy this is fire sign energy okay so i'm picking up high um, this is um, Leo energy, okay? So I'm picking up high, high, uh, what is it? Courage I'm gonna say courageousness, but I don't think, is that a word? Courageousness, maybe. <laughs> but there's a lot of courage that I'm feeling, a lot of confidence, a lot of um, going for the things that you want, okay? Feeling very um, inspired, taking inspired action, passionate passion inspired action okay so you know what that means baby dancing okay um but just i'm hearing i'm living my best life so there's something about like you just kind of going along with things okay um now i noticed with the king of wands he is also he has a wand in his hand and it, to me with this with this um the way his wand is like up in the air it's like he's like um what is it i know he's a he's a delegator so he 
he things that he's not able to do he lets others take care of for him because he knows that he'd rather have them do it because they know how to do it and they can do it right right let's do it right the first time so we don't got to do it again um so there could be like a lot of eliminating stress off off of yourself this month which could be giving you further confidence okay in taking action and the way that you're able to take action right you're not going to do things that just don't make sense for you you're not going to do things that um you don't you know you're not qualified quote unquote to do for yourself right um for example some things a doctor may have to do or some things a fertility health specialist um, our fertility health coach may be able to guide you with better. Um, some things an acupuncturist may be more knowledgeable about, right? So we're kind of eliminating the things that have been stressing us and we're going to get help for that. We're going to the experts, we're going to the people whose job or who's um, been trained to figure things out, give us the answers and help us move forward, okay? And this is why you're moving forward. This is why you're experiencing growth. Um, when you have the team right behind you that you need, you're able to get things done, right? You're able to move faster and flow and the flow is easier. Um, it's not like pulling teeth. So I'm also seeing this can revolve around if this is not a physician or in a professional aspect, this could be your partner, right? Maybe your partner is picking up more responsibility or your partner is now they're like, okay, well, how about we get, I get tested, right? You've done all the testing that you can do. Let me do some testing. And it's like they take um, a certain accountability and you take certain accountability and you guys are working together is what I'm feeling here in this month for pile number two. Okay, a lot of confident energy. Um, let's see what else we have coming through. What else can pile number two expect in October, Spirit? What is it they can expect? We have being spontaneous. I'm gonna shuffle again because I came out really easily and that was pile number one. Um, that was one of their messages. So let me just make sure that we have your energy here. Pile number two. Like I said, that came out really easy. Like I said, there's ease here, okay? There's ease surrounding your fertility journey. So for my goddesses and my fertility gods who have been having difficulty with their fertility journey, trying to conceive, I feel like there's some ease that's coming in here. And we have staying the course. So you can expect to continue to move forward in the way that you have been moving forward. You're just going to be exactly, look at this, on the bottom of the deck, we have overcoming obstacles. So you're just going to be overcoming certain obstacles now, okay? So you're no longer going to be fighting against certain obstacles that you have been facing or had been facing in your journey you're now overcoming them this month beautiful okay um what else can we expect here in pile number two what else can we expect okay pile number two what can we expect this month in their fertility journey okay let's see what else we have here coming through we have a few that flew out I'm gonna take them off so the first one we have is hsg testing some of my goddesses you may be getting an hsg test this is when they look at your fallopian tubes this is when they once again, um, they push a dye through your fallopian tubes, which is meant to create ease, right? Um, and flow when it comes to conception or when it comes to the sperm traveling through the fallopian tubes or the egg traveling through the fallopian tubes, right? Um, so I don't know. I asked, did this, does the sperm go into, I don't think the sperm goes into the fallopian tubes. I think it's just supposed to meet in the uterus. No, I think it can go in there. Child, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> so I don't know about that. But what I do know is that the HSG test, the reason I know is from experience, um, because this is something that was recommended for me to get. And then I've also spoken with other goddesses that have had this procedure done. So I do know that there's a, there's a dye solution that they put through your fallopian tubes to flush your tubes. Um, and sometimes it can be painful um, or really uncomfortable. And sometimes your, your tubes may be blocked. Sometimes, you know, they get basically, a di it's a diagnostic testing to kind of see what's going on. So that's also a message here in regards to um, you could be getting other diagnostic testing if you're watching this pile, right? You could be um, doing certain things to break certain um, repeating cycles. So it says generational curses here. So this could be something that your family has, like your, your mother or her mother, um, someone in your family or even on the dad's side, okay, could have been um, his mother or even um, father, right? Father to father to father, um, that there could have been something going on with their fertility that you have also inherited. So there could be some generational genetic things going on. Maybe there's like some genetic diagnostic testing being done this month. There could even be like um, 
some like reproductive things going on, some hormone things going on. And this could be something that um, the mother or the father of either you or your partner has had experienced. Um, or even if it skipped a generation, right? They, that your grandparents experienced or their grandparents experienced. That is, could be affecting your journey at this time. But whatever it may be here, I feel like I'm hearing and I feel like you're going to an expert, okay? We also have crystals. So you may be working with certain crystals. Carnelian is a great crystal for your sacral chakra. Um, and your sacral chakra does represent passion, emotions. Um, it is also a space of your reproductive organs um, as well as the root chakra. And I really like this dark carnelian because it reminds me of like an orangish like blood what is it blood orange like orange red so I feel like this kind of aligns with both your sacral and your roots so it's a great crystal to work with um and so you may be working with carnelian if you have like a um carnelian bracelet I'm seeing someone with a carnelian bracelet I'm also seeing a carnelian pendant and a carnelian pendulum okay but working with those crystals are going to be very um helpful for you okay working with that crystal oh my gosh I forgot to use my crystal cards I told Pana Number one, like, oh, I'm going to pull a crystal card for you, and I never did. <laughs> so I might have to, I don't know, will I add that in? Mm, I won't do it in this reading since I didn't do it the first file. <laughs> okay, and then we also have here blended family, which says collaboration. Absolutely, okay, I just heard we are family. So this is like confirming two things for me here with that message. In the month of October, you may either be working on something that was given to you or that was passed down genetically or that was passed down um that's a part of your um generational cycle right that affects both you and some other family members possibly um you may be looking further into that maybe doing some genetic testing um you could also be um treating something that was passed down okay um or that multiple multiple people have experienced Experienced. Now this kind of goes into that, okay? So if someone else has experienced difficulty conceiving because of something that they've ha they they have, and then something that you now have or that you have, um, they may have like some suggestions, right? This can be that delegation energy. They may be able to give you some sort of guidance or some sort of um, information that helps you break the cycle that you've been in, right? And, and overcome certain obstacles you've been facing with this. The other thing I'm seeing here with collaboration, it goes back to the delegation energy, right? Well, I'm not gonna, you know, stress myself out to figure this out anymore because I know I need help. I know that there's someone out here who can, right? Like I'm not an accountant. So in my business, like I'm not gonna do the accounting. I'm gonna hire an accountant, right? Because why would I even put that on me, right? Someone's been, you know, trained and they know what to do. So let them do it. That's what the energy is here, right? Someone's been trained, they know what to do or they've experienced this before. So let me just let this heaviness off go from my shoulders and get some assistance with that, okay? So I do feel like there could be something going on this month with that as well, okay? Um, some of you guys may ha be in a blended family, okay? So um, you may be with your partner, you may be married or in a relationship with someone who has children, right? You guys could be bringing your family together. So that could be why that, that little baby came over to the side. Maybe you have a child, your partner has a child, and then you guys are gonna make one together, okay? So someone in this pile could be a blended family as well, okay? Um, or it could also also be I'm picking up for this pile some of you guys may even be in same-sex relationships okay I'm picking up for this pile as well um, so that's what I'm getting with that too now let's see what else we have what else can we expect um, this month okay in pile number two okay for the month of October 2023 what is it they need to know what is their mo what are their most important messages or what can they expect to experience this month okay in their their journey so we have a boost in motivation slash inspiration absolutely okay that is confirming that and a clear sense of direction beautiful yes okay no longer trying to overcome the obstacle because now we know what to do we know how to move forward so we're moving forward okay oh some of you guys may experience pregnancy symptoms this month okay so there could be some conception happening um or i'm really picking up conception um at the end of this month are experiencing pregnancy symptoms towards the end of this month. So if your two week wait is like towards the end of October, then that message could definitely be for you. Um, I don't know why I'm picking up the tail end. So the tail end of October or the very beginning of October, like you could be experiencing pregnancy symptoms right now, right? Cause I'm recording this on the 2nd of October or you could be experiencing some at the very end. Okay, if that's the case, take a test. 
okay? Um, and then beneath that we have, you can expect to be guided in the right direction slash be guided or be directed to the right items or people. So there's no need for you to guess anymore. There's no need for a guessing game this month. Um, there's Things are becoming clear for you. They're becoming crystal clear is what I'm hearing, okay, with the crystals. Um, definitely do not um, steer away from your metaphysical connections, right, your spiritual connection. Um, connect with your crystals. Um, also connect with spirit. Your spirit baby is definitely guiding you. I see this lion here in the stars, um, and I feel like your baby's saying, this is our, our connection, our physical connection is written in the stars. Mama and Papa, this is destined to happen, but they're also guiding you, okay? This is showing me here that they're, they are guiding you through this journey, so you're not alone in this at all, okay? Um, let's see what we have coming through as far as your messages from the Hi Mama Spirit Baby Oracle deck. What else do you want? your mama to know okay about this month surrounding your journey so we have hi mama trust your intuition it is 100 percent accurate hi mama keep going please don't give up okay so your baby's like mama don't give up on me i know it's been difficult in the past but trust your intuition you are heading in the right direction and we have hi mama heart chakra balance is really important for our connection okay so once again your baby is definitely connecting with you um, or guiding you during this month you're probably going to see signs of lions it's a sign of synchronicity from them but i'm also seeing here with the heart chakra balance they're going to be showing you or guiding you to more green things this could be things to eat this could be green clothing this can be um like green apple scent i just heard okay <laughs> for some of you guys um, but the color green, you may be really attracted to as well as pink. You could want to connect with a unikite crystal or a, um, rose quartz crystal would be great for you, for your connection as well. Um, but your baby is also wanting you to open up your heart. Okay. Open your heart to their energy. And you may be like, I'm, my heart's already open, right? I'm already welcoming them in. This is like through, uh, like a ceremony. Ooh, confirmation this is like through a ceremony or through like intention right so it's like your baby wants you to sit down with them and intentionally welcome them into your heart space fill their energy all around your body ask them questions let them just give you a sense of love and confidence and reassurance as you travel through your journey whatever it is that you need at that time but they want you they want you to make them a clear and um what is it like i guess a clear part of your journey like you know so that you know that they are one of the guides that are helping you conceive them okay um now some of you guys may also be i kind of talked about this briefly but i'm picking up for the month of october if you've been ca feeling called to like work with an acupuncture or um do like chiropractic work um reiki um holistic like work with hol holistic energy as well as um our holistic healing methods um, or like metaphysical healing methods okay these are some things that I feel you're being called to do as well I know I kind of mentioned it a few times that I felt like I needed to clarify that this is not just crystals right um, it's also other since other other forms of healing holistic healing and metaphysical healing okay anything else spirit anything else I don't think so so let's go ahead and get your question um, out of the way, okay, let's ask Spirit if you have a high chance of conception for this month, okay? For pile number two, will they be conceiving in October? Will they be conceiving in October? Thank you, Spirit. We have the Four of Swords, and on the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups, and then we have the Four of Pentacles beneath that, okay? So I don't really see conception this month. But I do feel like you are going to be, um, this feels like you're going to be stabilizing. I feel like you're going to be regaining control of your, um, of everything, to be honest. With the Four of Swords, it's just showing me your mind, okay? Like you're, you're in this rest mode, right? You're no longer, um, like overthinking. You're no longer like just in this chaotic mind state of mind um with the king of cups is you regaining your control over your emotions okay and with the four of pentacles this is you gaining regaining stability and your physical space okay so it's like literally i'm seeing your mind your emotions and your 
physical space, okay? Um, so I definitely feel like for this pile, this is this is a month of regaining stability. Now, as far as pregnancy symptoms go, right? Like I said, you could be experiencing some pregnancy symptoms at the beginning of this month or at the end of this month. I do feel that for some of you guys. Now, in terms of the pregnancy symptoms, some of you guys, sometimes we can um, experience these symptoms when we're not pregnant, but our hormones are imbalanced. So this could also be what the regaining of stability surrounding the physical body can be about, right? The diagnostic testing can be about um, the, it's almost like, like, once again, it's like we're getting out of this rocky space um, with the three of, it's, I love how we have collaboration and we have the four of pentacles. It's like we work with, we work with someone, the three of pentacles represents collaboration as well. And now we have the four of pentacles right after that. So it's like, this is a month of you um, collaborating, right? Working together with your partner or working together with um, someone else that may be a part of your uh, fertility journey, like a doctor or healthcare professional, right? And then you guys together creating the stability, right? You alleviating the pressure from your mind, not overthinking about what it is that I need to do. Am I going in the right direction? So forth, right? Your baby is started off in the beginning saying, stay the course, right? Stay the course. We just needed a little bit of clarity around it, but we're going to stay the course. Um, and then with the King of Cups, it's like, okay, I've been through the worst of times. I've been through the greatest of times. Things have been a bit rocky, but now we're moving away from this rocky waters, right? We're overcoming certain obstacles we've experienced. So, um, as far as the overall energy, I'm not seeing pregnancy for this month, for this pile, but I do feel like there's a significance to the next four weeks, okay? The next four weeks feel very significant. You could even see angel number 444 as well, okay? We even have a double king here, king of wands, king of cups. Love that, okay? Um, oh, I didn't even realize we have the king of wands here, which is representing the energetic and the action. So you literally have everything here. Sorry if you can hear my neighbor. They're, I don't know, excited about something. But um, we literally have the king of wands, the king of cups. We literally have every energy, energetically taken action, the mind the emotions and the body so <laughs> this is like a well-rounded read here for you guys okay um and this is once again the message of you regaining control this month okay so i love this for you i love that you're regaining control i love that you are being more inspired inspired to take more passionate action baby dancing um getting into it getting back into the swing of things right and also opening your heart and understanding that there is a possibility for things to be easy, right? Things can be easy for me. As a matter of fact, things are easy for me, right? Things are easy for me. And that is something that you should recite to yourself. I feel like that is very powerful for you because whatever you've experienced in the past, whatever obstacles you've experienced, they may have made you feel like this is just how things are going to be, right? Whether Even if it's subconsciously, like you may just be feeling like, this is how things are going to be. I'm meant to have a difficult journey. This is just how my journey is. But things are meant to be easy for you. Okay, let's get your affirmation. Speaking of that affirmation here, we even have the Ten of Cups here on the bottom of the deck. So like I said, pregnancy is near with this Ten of Cups energy, okay? Um, but as far as these other cards that came out, I do feel like there could, there might be a connection to October, but I'm not really feeling it very strongly here, okay, for this pile. Let's see what we have here as far as your affirmation goes for pile number two. My body powerfully purges toxins. Yes. And on the bottom of the deck, we have, I am a creative, passionate, I am creative. I'm sorry. I am creative, passionate, and inspired. Yes. That's exactly what you're stepping back into that energy of feeling creative, ready to create, feeling passionate, feeling ready to move forward, feeling inspired about your journey or inspired to take action and passionate about your journey. Okay. And this month, your body will be um, purging any toxins, right? Releasing, letting go. Some of you guys, the HSG test is what literally what your body has been needing. Okay. So if you chose this pile, know that you may be getting an HSG test this month, or you may be scheduling one, or you're being called to schedule one, look into it further. Okay. I'm not a doctor. So ask your doctor if this is something that they recommend for you, but there's something here about like, even with the, um, purging energy, this is about cleansing of your womb. This is about whatever obstacles were in your way, 
intern internally they're being released they're being removed okay they're being let go of and we have all the energies here like i said so for it's going to be different for everybody some of you guys it'll be physically you're purging some of you guys emotionally you're purging releasing opening up your heart some of you guys mentally you're purging you're trusting your intuition more right you're not overthinking your actions and for others you're purging um what is it? Uh, energetically, right? You're not going to do things that you haven't been trained for. You're not going to try to figure it out yourself. You're going to hire a professional. You're going to hire someone to do it for you, right? That's going to alleviate and purge that toxic energy surrounding, I can't do it. All right. I, why is it so hard, right? So this is a month of purging for you guys, okay? Cleansing to prepare for baby's arrival. Beautiful. Thank you, Spirit, for wrapping that up for us. <laughs> and if you fall drawn to any other pile, okay, make sure you check it out. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this message if it aligns with you you can also write down below in the comment section i would love to hear out aligns for you for the month of october um and come back and listen to it especially if you're listening to this um, in the beginning of october you may want to come back mid-october and listen to it and see if you choose the same pile what your message is if you do or if you don't right and how that may align with your current energy at that time okay so i'm sending you so much love light and of course if you're trying to conceive baby dust and I look forward to hearing beautiful news from you. Bye. Hello, my beautiful fertility goddesses and my fertility gods. Welcome to your October 2023 fertility reading. If you chose pile number three, then this is indeed your pile. Let me actually move these crystals over here <laughs> so we can have your energy present. Um, but if you chose this white highlight, okay, maybe you want to work with this crystal this month. There can be something benefic beneficial, okay, about using and working with the properties of that crystal for you in your fertility journey. You may also be experiencing a lot of dreams at this time, okay? Um, that can be something that your baby is speaking to you through, okay, or your spirit guides may be guiding you through your dreams at this time, feeling really groggy or in a dreamy state state throughout your day can also be something experienced um, during the month of October um, and like I said very vivid dreams some that feel even realistic okay so things that you remember as soon as you wake up are like and they feel real okay like I feel like there's an intense dream energy here for this pile now we're gonna be asking spirit if you have a high chance of conception this month or what's the energy that is surrounding your fertility journey in the month of October okay this card that we have here is already selected right it's the only one that's pre-selected and it represents the overall energy so let's flip it over for pile number three we have the ace of wands i love it already okay <laughs> so i mean of course pile number three got the creative card so this is a card of creation okay this is as you can see he's painting he's making some artwork um and when it comes to baby dancing when it comes to making a baby and that is a creative act right that is creation so um i feel high fertility this month for pile number three um so if you are feeling very, um, if your libido is very high, if you're feeling very inspired to take action this month, very, um, like pumped up. Okay. Then this is your, this is your sign here. Okay. I do feel like there is a possibility of conception this month for many of you, but we're going to dive deeper into this message. Of course, I'm going to be asking spirit, um, what are some things you can expect this month? And then of course we'll close out with, your question or your answer of conception okay possibility of conception so for pile number three what is it that we have coming through here i see there's an opportunity for conception this month so far okay we have patiently waiting spirit is saying this is something that you've been patiently waiting for okay i feel like the time of waiting is over um or you could also be having to patiently wait through your two-week wait okay look at that a very fertile time oh my gosh yes you have been waiting for this, okay? Pile number three, you have been waiting for this. Some of you guys have been trying for a very long time. Um, I had to point this card out because I, even though it's on the bottom of the deck, I haven't been pulling from the bottom on this deck on this whole reading, but there was a message that came through intuitively, and now I see this message from the bottom of the deck. It says, healing from loss or grief. So some of you guys, this could be your rainbow baby that you're conceiving, um, or you could have been in the recent past healing from loss or grief, or just possibly feeling this grieving energy from being on the journey for so long, right? It starts to feel like you're grieving something that you may never get. It's almost like you're grieving while while there's still a possibility. Um, I feel like this is some of, some of you guys have been feeling this way when it comes to patiently waiting for your baby's arrival, okay? Um, but 
in the month of October, things are looking very promising with a very fertile time being present here for you, okay? <laughs> High chance of conception is what I'm feeling. Um, let's see, what else should we know about the month of October? For pile number three, I'm hearing there's something about your inner moon cycle that's coming through. Um, this could be that maybe you end up having like a light, like a light cycle that um, that like gets your antennas going, right? You're like, hmm, why is my cycle lighter than normal? Okay, that can be a sign of pregnancy for some of you guys. But we have holistic doctor slash naturopath. Okay, so some of you guys may be using herbs or natural remedies this month to conceive. Um, or even to strengthen your physical foundation. This could be for you or your partner, okay? Or if you are dad, this can be you, dad, okay? Um, you may be working with a holistic doctor. You may be ordering certain herbs, certain supplements, certain um, tinctures, okay? Certain oils, um, different things like that that you may be taking or putting on topically that may enhance your fertility this month. Or this could be something that you've been doing and you've been patiently awaiting the arrival of or the results from that, right? So some of you guys, if this is like dad, or mom I feel like you may have been doing this for the last three to six months or maybe even this is your first month or like you have been there's some consistency to it okay whether you're like oh my gosh I did this for a couple of weeks or oh my gosh I did this for a year there's some consistency to this here okay that helps um, enhance your fertility it's gonna definitely enhance your fertility so if you recently have been you know thinking about diving into this energy or you've been looking at something you've been feeling intuitively like I should take action on this I should buy this um, I should order this you know I should meet with this doctor then I definitely feel like this is something that you are being called to do okay let's see if we can get one that was like a chunk of cards that flipped over I didn't feel like those were your messages but let's see what we have here spirit for pile number three what can they expect this month in their fertility journey we have complication listen to your body okay so definitely I feel like we're working through some complications here that we may have been experiencing with this holistic doctor slash natural path okay I feel like we're removing blockages here this one wanted to come out we have couples emotions so maybe the um, maybe the um complication is surrounding the emotions we have crystals here so working with a certain crystal one that's coming to mind is unikite it is a great crystal of compromisation it is a great um, crystal that represents like um, love as well as compassion being compassionate for yourself as well as others um, having love for yourself as well as others okay um, and it's a great couples crystal but I definitely feel like here there's something that may have been emotionally disturbing or emotionally um, you know frustrating surrounding your fertility journey that may have affected your you and your partner's relationship in some way and so I feel like you guys are going to be working through any emotional um, baggage that you may have been holding on to there may be some really difficult conversations or there may be like it may I feel like I don't know I don't know why I feel like it it feels like it may be um, like scary to get excited right it's a little scary to get um, excited and hope and think that this could be the month or this could be my baby that I get to have you know a healthy pregnancy with and give have a, a birth with right and hold into hold in my arms and take home and, and raise but it's like I feel like you're working through that energy this month um, I really do feel like they're there you're, you're being called to listen to your body your body is going to help you um, heal is what i'm hearing your body's going to tell you when it's ready whether this is physically emotionally mentally or spiritually your body's going to tell you okay i'm ready and we just get heavier and heavier and heavier when we decide to hold on to things that's ready to be released ready to be healed ready to be let go of okay so listen to that okay um and there could even be like i said a conversation between you and your partner that you guys have together where certain emotions come up right things that have been buried things have that have been um about about certain difficulties and obstacles that you may have faced in the past um in your journey so i'm hearing um be compassionate with one another okay um be patient with both with yourself as well as those that are around you look at that inner moon cycle what was that message spirit that was coming through about inner moon cycle i said there could oh yeah the, your cycle being lighter than normal how crazy is that 
That is so crazy how that card just came out. I felt it. I felt like you may have a change in your inner moon cycle. Some of you guys are going to miss your inner moon cycle this month. Okay, your menstrual cycle, your period. <laughs> um, so some of you guys are going to be missing that this month. Okay. Um, or you may notice that there is something going on like your cycle is lighter than normal. It's like scanty, spotty, right? It may even, you may even have darker blood. Um, those can be signs of pregnancy. Are you kidding me? Look at the bottom of the deck. Celebration happy outcome success and evolve so you're definitely stepping into this next phase of your journey which for me from trying to conceive it's pregnant right you're pregnant so um celebrate in advance okay like i said it can be hard to celebrate it can be hard to um see like something as a potentially being successful for you when you've gone through some difficulties in the past but you're being called to celebrate you're being called and and you're wanting they're wanting to tell you your spirit team your spirit baby they're wanting to tell you that there is a happy outcome to come there is success to come okay um let's see what else we have coming through for you here i'm going to be using these cards that i have written on today or wrote on today earlier Let's see, what else can pal number three expect? What can we expect this month? Okay, what can we expect this month? There's definitely something here also about the cleansing. Like maybe you have been, like I said, doing something natural that has been bringing cleansing out. Okay, cleansing, this is cleansing energy. I feel like that you have experienced in the recent past. Okay, um, that is leading to conception for you. So you may have been doing like a wound cleanse or you may have had a procedure that was like something to flush your fallopian tubes. Um, there could have been another procedure that was done, you know, but there's something here that I feel like is, um, what is it? I feel like I need to shuffle again. I don't feel like those two are your cards. Let me see if they come out again. Okay, I'm gonna take these two. <laughs> Maybe it was these two, I don't know. But um, I feel like whatever you were doing in the past is now leading you to um, this conception, okay? And it's like cleanse. So we have pinpoint ovulation. So this month you can expect to pinpoint your ovulation and you can also expect to take action that will move you forward. Okay, so there's a lot of this passion inspired action that's coming through with the Ace of Wands. And I also see that there is going to be, um, there could be a bit of difficulty that you've had in the past when it comes to pinpointing your ovulation. But I feel like you have um, or you could even experience a little bit of a difficulty this month, especially if you and your partner are arguing or fighting, you know, um, there can be something like there's a message here about, um, that, uh, what is it? Conception can occur. Um, celebrations can come, right? But I feel like there's a need for you to baby dance around the time of ovulation. Okay. And of course that sounds so like, of course we got to do that. Right. But I feel like there can be a distraction. The reason why spirit is bringing this up because there can be a distraction or some something that may be going on around the time of ovulation. So make sure you're tracking. Okay. Make sure you are um, listening to your body signs and signals as well, because it, something could be like a little different this month for you. Um, so I am seeing that as well. Okay. For some of you guys. And then we have a strong urge from within. Listen to it. So you can also expect to have a strong urge from within. Listen to that urge. Okay. And I feel like I said that earlier. Did I say that? I don't remember what it was about though. But definitely listen to that strong urge, okay? Maybe I said it in a, in a different pile. I don't remember. <laughs> okay, we're going to get some High Mama Spirit Baby Oracle deck messages for you here, okay? What is it that you can expect or what is it that your spirit baby wants you to know about your fertility journey this month, okay, in the month of October 2023? All right, for pile number three, what is it we need to know about their fertility journey this month? Let's see. We have, hi, mama. Remember, you deserve nice things too, okay? Yes, this is a, this is a month of you um, tending to your needs, okay, and tending to the things that you want here. We have, hi, mama. It is time to set boundaries. Yeah, there's something here about um, enough is enough, okay? Enough is enough. Um, and I don't know why I felt from the beginning this painting here was, it felt very therapeutic to me. So like I said, there is definitely healing happening here. It feels like it's emotional. And these boundaries that you're being called to set can also be around um, like like limiting beliefs, right? Like you maybe may have been telling yourself certain things that have been to protect you from being hurt in the future, but these things are no longer serving you, right? It's time to release those things. It's time to set boundaries around the energy you allow to be around you, the conversations you allow yourself to have with people, um, you know, the people you allow to be in your corner and to know your business, right? Um, you, it's really important for you to protect your own energy right now, 
okay? Whether you remember, remember you deserve nice things too. This is, a, this is a message of remember you deserve to be happy. Remember you deserve to experience joy. Remember that a baby is your, like you deserve to have your baby. You are worthy of conceiving this child. You are worthy of giving birth to this child, okay? So this is what I'm feeling with that message as well. Um, but doing some things that may be very therapeutic for you will be very helpful this month, okay, as well. And your baby is also wanting you to visualize them, okay? Visualize your, your dream. Visualize your family this month, okay? Um, live in that visualization. Live as if. With set certain boundaries, this is like who would you allow to be around you if you were pregnant or if you um, had your baby with you, okay? Um, would you allow, you know, this, this darting energy, this darting negative energy to be around you, right? Would you allow, um, you know, certain experiences to happen around you? Like, how would you protect yourself, right? If you were pregnant or if you were to have your baby with you in the car seat, right? Like you're carrying a baby around or they're in the stroller. Like, well, how would you protect you and baby? This is what you're, you're being called to mother yourself at this time, okay? Um, let's see what else we have here. What other message do we have for pawn number three? And we have, hi, mama. Don't be afraid to get a second opinion. I love it. So this can literally be getting the second opinion. So some of you guys may be getting a second opinion from a doctor, someone who may have are from like a healthcare professional, from a holistic doctor. Okay, maybe your doctor said this is the only way you can do things, but your baby's like, Maybe you can go to a holistic, go the holistic approach, right? Or go to a natural path and get a second opinion from them and see what they have to say. Um, whatever it is here is going to give you a spark of energy, a spark of motivation, a spark of like, I can do this, okay? It's what I'm feeling here. And the same thing with getting, don't be afraid to get a second opinion. This is about you getting back in it, okay? This is about you taking action and being like, you know what? I am worthy of this baby. You know what? I can conceive this little one. It is easy for for me to conceive and all these affirmations you know saying affirmations to yourself and affirming um your your little one right of affirming the growth within your family is what i'm seeing here um we also have on the bottom of the deck it says hi mama it is okay to move away from stagnant energy and we have hi mama move forward with passion inspired action this will lead to success okay so <laughs> definitely seeing high chances of conception this month for you okay um and this feels like it's through a natural or holistic method okay um let's see what we have here for october will they be conceiving for pile number three october 2023 will they be conceiving this month spirit is conception high for them this month oh we have the ace of wands okay i think i saw the nine of up oh ace of wands on the bottom of the deck let's see what comes through let's see what comes through for pile number three will they be conceiving this month or do they have a high chance for conception this month okay let's see spirit thank you for your message for pile number three we have the two of pentacles it can go either way <laughs> okay um but on the bottom of the deck we have the three of wands which is showing me yes okay the three of wands is a yes sorry if you can hear my neighbor i don't know what they're doing but they've been so loud throughout this whole video so the three of wands is definitely a message of expansion growth and it is a yes okay uh, but it can go either way it can go either way it is up to you um once again i feel like there could be some sort of um like what is it uh distraction right that may try to deter you from taking care of business deter you from pinpointing ovulation there could be an argument i don't know this used to happen to me all the time where um it's no longer my story though okay this is something you could tell yourself too like that was my past this is no longer my story my story consists of blah 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 but my old story used to consist of like me and my uh, fiance we used to get into arguments around the time of ovulation and i'd be like oh my gosh like i can't even do this <laughs> like you know i don't know but it was it's i feel like it was just um sabotage energy right that was self-sabotage because i'm in control of my thoughts i'm in control of my emotions right and so um that's self-sabotage so definitely i feel like you're being called here to take inspired action this month there's a high chance for conception with the three of wands being present um and the two of pentacles is also showing me that you have a choice okay you have a choice um 
what's more what's more important or what are you what is your focus this month okay i feel like asking yourself what are you what are you focused on this month okay it's really important now as far as your affirmation which is what we're going to end with for pile number three thank you guys so much for being here let's see what we have here pile number three speaking of dreams okay your baby was talking about visualizing them and holding on to your vision okay with them in it with them in your family <laughs> that is a big message about um what is it um, in regards to your dreams too okay they may show themselves to you in your dreams okay your that could be the vision they may show you the vision that they want you to hold on to in your dreams now your affirmation says my hormones are wise and balance themselves so the two of pentacles can also be um a call to balance out your hormones as well or this could be something that you are experiencing while you're experiencing a light inner moon cycle as well especially if you've had one in the past or it has been irregular maybe you have irregularity surrounding that if you do connect with a natural path or a holistic doctor um, to receive some sort of guidance so that you can pinpoint your ovulation i feel like pregnancy is very um dependent on things being balanced okay within your journey and not just within your journey but also within your body and let me get one more message here for pile number three let's see here i trust that my body is fertile beautiful 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 so i love these affirmations for you you can put them down in the comment section if you like i trust that my body is fertile and my hormones are wise and balanced themselves especially if this strongly aligns with your journey everyone's journey is different so it may not align with everybody but if it does i highly recommend you affirm that for yourself in the comment section and if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up um, subscribe to the channel join the family um, and if you felt drawn to any other pile check it out if not I have many 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 different readings that you can check out as well that are timeless messages from the babies other guidance messages for your journey so check those out too and I'll see you in your next reading bye